So, I've been practicing a bit more with Super Stardust because I'm not as bad as I was before. Um, I may be a bit overly cautious this time, although th that may not be evident. Um, <laughs> but this is, uh, I thought, I, I did practice a bit on this game after um, my first impression and thought that, that um, the game deserved a second uh, attempt. And a couple of people, um, uh, including the Hooded Gamer and, um, oh fuck, always happens when I start talking. <laughs> Uh, the Hooded Gamer and Pack Billy have suggested that um, the tunnel stages are worth getting to, which I failed to get to last time. So I played through up to the point uh, where I get to the tunnel stages, but not actually gone any further. I've actually quit the game because I wanted to see it for the first time on video. Um, so Sod's Law suggests that I won't make it this time, but we can only hope. Well, you can only hope. I can only try. Um, now, see, when I run out of time, these little ast the asteroids that remain will turn into nasty little spaceships. But fortunately, it didn't happen there. Okay, now, as I said before, um, I didn't see, see any evidence of other weapons, but there are. Uh, that, uh, you see it said bounce the power up, that's happened because when you click space um, and use this rather strange interface you can see it says power level 4 out of 5 um, guess what the kind of, guess what the bouncer does <laughs> yay, it's other kinds of weapons that's cool, so you know it's not just a single hit with these weapons, obviously they bounce and you know that can be used to great effect if you know what you're doing which may not apply here and also, they have much greater range than the three-way. <laughs> the the three-way. That's funny. Um, <laughs> so I can actually shoot from across the uh, across the screen, which is actually very useful with one of these bosses, the fire spell. Uh, in this case, however, I'm fighting the predator. And there he is. Oh, I still get disoriented with the edges. Oh god, missiles. Yes. So as you can tell, I'm doing less badly than the last time. As I'm up to the last level. Just got to kill the fire spiller, destroy these asteroids, and then I get to the coveted tunnel stages. Yay. Whoops. Yeah, look how fast that is now. Ooh. Impressive. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the other weapons as well. If I actually manage to. Whoa! Oh god. Yeah! Oh, and here's the main boss. Whoa! Now, you can only damage him when he's out. Oh god. I still get so confused by the edges. I, I like. I think I'm. Way! I think I'm far away, but I'm not. You know, because you just gotta keep half a screen to see. There. Doing some damage. Right. And he's going to come towards me. I just sneak off this side. And then sneak off this side. And he can't go over the edge of the screen. So he has to... He has to keep coming to get me. So I can use this edge warping to my advantage. And there. His weapons don't even... Oh, they reached me through the other side. Okay. He can't move through there, but his weapons can. Now that may seem cheap from his perspective, but he's only an AI, so he doesn't care. Come on. It's pretty tough though. And that's that shield of his protects him completely. Uh, yes! I got him! Sweet! Now I'm onto the tunnel stages, I think. Here we go. Initiating warp sequence. Objective, navigate through asteroid and minefields to reach the end of the tunnel, leading to the second world. If shot, golden asteroids will leave energy power-ups, so aim carefully. Detected enemy vessels one, type bomber. Whoa, that is really cool. I'm quite impressed with that already. Whoa. God. This thing's 
Oh, oh god. Oh, there's the, there's the bomber. God. It is a little tricky. Trying to get a sense of perspective on this, but it really is quite good for pseudo 3D. You know. Yes! More asteroids. Now, I assume these golden things that are gonna lose all my lives but at least I got to see the tunnel stage god damn it this is intense Way. Oh, I'm really whoa oh I missed the energy power up whoa lots of points yes I made it congratulations tunnel sequence yay fireworks <laughs> yay okay arriving at Starbase Boak 474. Enemy squadrons are moving into attack. Starbase 444. In Professor Smoln's forces, if Professor Schmoun's forces succeed in overtaking your home base, they will turn it into the most destructive instrument of death in the whole galaxy. You must prevent this from happening. Oh really? I thought it was supposed to help. Whoa! Okay, nice background. So, you know, rather than using spaceships, this Professor Bastard Head Schmochi uses uh uses asteroids, which is actually a fairly efficient way of, of attacking an enemy planet. You know, you just grab a bunch of asteroids and throw them down from Earth, uh, from space even, and uh, you know, the kinetic force of a, of a falling asteroid is uh, uh, as powerful as a nuclear blast without any fallout. Mm. Whoa! Jesus! Ah! These nasty... Twisted spirally things. Whoa. They just fold into space like 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 moving through higher dimensions. Whoa. Oh, game over. A feeble effort? Fuck you! That wasn't feeble, that was that was that was less than bad. maybe okay, it was still feeble. But that was fun. So that was uh, that was uh, Super Stardust again, and I much enjoyed it more in the second in the second attempt, so uh yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.